Hey everyone, thank you very much for coming back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing about the visa option for students. Those visa option which will give you the study permit and after finishing your study that will also give you a work permit which will lead you to the permanent residence followed by citizenship. So you can stay in Canada and build your career after your study. So let's find out what are the organization or an institution you can go and study and get the work permit afterwards. As you know, Canada has a lot of top ranked university and colleges. You can go there and study and get work permit afterwards. And you have to get a good score, good CGPA, good IELTS score for that. But let me talk about those students who have limited IELTS score, limited CCPA, and still wants to build career in Canada. For that, you have to find out a DLI listed institutions. DLI means Designated Learning Institutions. So Canadian government has declared a list of institutions where you can go and study and based on that, after finishing your study, if you apply for your work permit, Canadian government will give you the work permit. So it's very straightforward. Once you finished your study from DLI listed institute, it could be a university, could be a college, could be a career college or anything, and you can get your work permit afterward. So first of all, you need to find out uh, where you can look for DLI listed institutions. I'll show you in my computer and uh, let's find out how you can select your desirable or your desired DLI listed institution and get enrolled. All right, first of all, to find out DLI listed uh, organization, we have to come to this page. I will link this web page into the description so that you can find the same page this is canadian government's page and website uh, as you can see designated learning institution list if you scroll down you can see post graduation work permit you need to know if you are eligible to work after your graduation not all designated learning institution make you eligible when we search dli listed institution we have to remember that not all the DLI listed institution will give you work permit. How we know that? Let's see. On the bottom, you can see a view list by province or territory. So when you select, so you have to select which province you wanted to study. So for example, if you choose Ontario, it will give you a list of institution in Ontario. As you can see, there are a lot of institution 1 to 49 so there are a lot of lists all right so you have to just have a look name of institution designated learning institution number so it's a legitimate number that you can see uh, which city it's uh, and campus so you get the initial information and uh, on the right side you can see offers PGWP eligible program or not so it means PGWP means post graduation work permit eligible or not. That is most important part because as you can see, these are DLI listed, but not eligible, not eligible. All those are no. So what you do is just click here twice. It will give you PGWP eligible programs on the top. So you narrow down your search by eligible programs. Now you can see all the eligible programs next you can do if you decide to study in toronto you can see you can select um campuses or you can select cities you can go by cities ajax or next one windsor um you know it's coming alphabetically so you if you go down so there are a lot of options to search. So I would go by the eligible, not eligible list. So once you get the eligible list, you can narrow down your CD and everything. Alternatively, you can copy paste everything in the Excel and um, 
make your search more effective for example this one if you wanted to study it will give you a study permit so if you want to go to their website just copy the name and uh, go to their website once you go there i'm just randomly selecting one you can go to uh, their training or whatever course they're offering I'm not too sure about this. Uh, let me find out one that could give you some sort of professional courses. So if we go to Central Orange College, we can see uh, their programs. There's a program list here. And as you can see, there is accounting certificate, advertising, autism and behavioral science automotive service technician so there's a lot of courses you can see business and everything business administration um, the campus in Cornwall so let's see so this course is basically three years long course you can also choose one year course or two year course for two year course you could get like three years work permit so it will give you ample of opportunity to finish your study and then uh, thereafter three years work permit which will give you enough time to get your PR so as you can understand you gotta work a lot to understand this system and then find out your desired college and location and city once you narrow down your five to ten college and then you can choose what program you want to study and then you can start applying or which will eventually allow you to get work permit that's the ultimate goal it's all depends on you which college you want to study because now you know how to select college and university and campuses um, based on the location and program. This is another college we can go and have a look. MacMaster Divinity College homepage. Let me double check. Yes, it is a DLI listed post work permit eligible program. If you go to their programs, you get to see all of their PhD, masters, and so forth programs they're offering. Anyway, so you gotta narrow down your search and find out and apply to them and that way you can get your work permit and visa and come to Canada and study after that you can get your desired work permit which will eventually give you the golden ticket to PR so once you select your college or institution you submit your documents and if they approve your documents you apply for student visa get the visa come to Canada and you start working towards your degree and you can also work for 20 hours per week which is I'm sure not sufficient to cover your cost or expenses uh, especially when you have to pay your college tuitions and your day-to-day -day living expense and everything so you must have other sorts of income to support you however once you've finished your study you can apply for work permit and um, which will allow you to work for any company uh, to any province in Canada and um, and once you have one year work experience you can apply for your permanent residency visa and it is very easy when you have Canadian work experience and Canadian degree which will allow you to get permanent residency pretty easily so that's a golden ticket for you you came here as a student and you get the PR and as you know when once you are PR you stay here for three years also those time when you studied those hours will also be counted there's a method for that it is a very good opportunity for all of you to find out a dli listed an institution and get enrolled and get your foot in canada towards your peer and towards your citizenship once you're done your degree here there are a lot of there are a lot of job opportunities and you can start working and you can build your career in canada all right everyone that's it for today hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in my next video until then goodbye